Hi, Jason here. Now, one of the cool things that ChatGPT can do, and I think GPT-4 does it even better, really, is to help you learn things. And what do I mean by things? I mean literally anything, uh, whether that's like gardening or sales and marketing or SEO or pretty much anything. It can actually teach you in proper lessons with you giving feedback and it asking you questions until you get it. Um, and it is an extraordinarily good teacher. So let's put it to the test in this video and we'll get it to create some lessons for us and teach us something. So um, first of all, what I'll do is I'll just uh, send it an initial message just saying that I want to create some kind of a course on something and I want it to do a lesson plan. So let's let's pick uh, sales and marketing, closing deals, that kind of thing as a thing that I want to learn. I want to get better at doing that. So we'll ask ChatGPT to get busy. Can you create a course outline that you could teach me for sales and marketing and closing deals? So off it goes. Um, it's created its course title, which is Sales, Marketing and Closing Deals Mastery. I like it. Uh, oh, it's a 12-week course, so I haven't got 12 weeks. Um, this comprehensive course will provide you with the knowledge, tools and strategies to excel in sales, marketing and closing deals. Through a combination of lectures, case studies, group discussions and practical exercises, You'll learn the ins and outs of modern sales and marketing techniques. And it's got all of these different um, weeks here broken down. Unbelievable different things. Week four, week five. And it says 12 weeks. So it's just going to burn through and give us the whole lot here. It's it's super effective. Now, the other thing, obviously, you could get chat GPT to teach you all of this stuff. And I'm going to show you how to do that. However, imagine now how easy it is to create online courses. I mean, crazy. The online course business is a multi-billion dollar industry. And now with the help of ChatGPT, you can churn out high quality online courses in a record time. And, and you can give them away for free if you want to use them as lead magnets, or of course you can sell them. So it's, it's just still going through all of the weeks. It's hit the last one. There we go. Week 12, sales and marketing and technology. It's going to go through CRMs and everything. Really, really good course, this. Look at all this, crafting and marketing strategy. So just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to pick one of these areas here and I'm going to get it to create a lesson for us because this is just an overview of the actual course. But um, if we take a little look here, which one we're going to pick? Prospecting and, oh, there we go. Cold calling and email outreach techniques. I'm going to pick that because that sounds like something that'd be really interesting to learn. Quite a tough job cold calling if you've ever done it. Um, so I'm going to say now, can you create a lesson for the following course? There we go. Cold calling and email outreach techniques. Oh, the lesson duration is two hours. Um, by the end of this lesson, learners will be able to understand the importance and purpose of cold calling and email outreach and sales. And then there's the good God It's literally breaking it down by minutes here. Look at this lesson outline. Introduction is 10 minutes. Cold calling techniques is 50 minutes unbelievable. It's just going deeper and deeper and deeper into each section. Now, that was just one line of this that I picked, literally just that. And from that, it's created a two-hour lesson that covers all of this, which is incredible. Look at this cold calling techniques. So I will now say, I think we'll just we'll just pick this one here and handling objections let's let's maybe go with like handling objections because if i ask it for any more we could be here all day and i'll get it to uh, create an interactive lesson with us now and there's nothing to stop you from taking all of this 
course content right here and putting it into a Google Docs or something. So you could always come back to ChatGPT and paste that in and get it to start an interactive lesson with you. But I'm just going to now get it busy with that particular thing. So can you create an interactive lesson with me now that covers handling objections and then we'll say I would like you to ask me a question about handling objections, wait for my answer, and then give constructive feedback on my answer so that I may improve my handling objections. Here we go. Let's see what it says. Okay, okay. However, I can... Yeah, that's fine. It says it's doing the usual. I'm an AI language model. I'm unable to provide real-time feedback in live interactive lesson. However, it's just going to do what I said anyway. Um, a, a potential customer raises the objection. You're... Oh, wow. Okay, okay. So what it's done here then, it didn't really listen to me. So I'm just going to stop generating that. So what it's done is given us the, the whole question... And then um, it's given us the possible answers and feedback on its own answer rather than having me answer it. So we can easily change. That means this prompt needs to be changed slightly to make it a little clearer. So let's re retry this. This is what prompting is all about and prompt engineering. It's improving your prompts to get the desired output. The desired output for me is that it asks me a question and I answer it. So... Uh, what can we do to improve this prompt? Can you create an interactive lesson with me now that covers handling objections? I would like you to ask me a question about handling objections. Wait for my answer. Um, then give, let's have a look, and then give constructive feedback on my answer. I think that's actually a pretty good prompt, but uh, let's make sure that it does it properly this time. Ask me a question about handling objections. Then, let's just say then wait for my answer and I'm going to say once I have given whoops given my answer give constructive feedback on my answer so that I may improve my handling objections now let's see if it manages to do a better job here we go that's much better there you go look I'll start by asking you a question and once you've provided your answer, I'll give constructive feedback. A prospect you're speaking to on the phone says your product is too expensive for our budget. How would you handle this objection? Well, I didn't cheat and I didn't read the above. So I need to actually think about what I would say here. Um, <laughs> let me have a think. I need to do this course. I'm on the spot. Uh, a, a prospect you're speaking to on the phone product is too expensive for our budget. Okay, so um, first of all, I think I would ask this. First of all, I would ask the customer what their budget was and what it was they were expecting to be able to purchase for that budget. Okay, not the best answer in the world, but let's see what it says about that. But then I was on the spot. Your response is a good start. As it shows that you're taking the prospect's concerns seriously by seeking to understand their budget constraints. However, there's an opportunity to further address the objection by emphasizing the value your product offers. Next time, you could try the following approach. See, this is gold if you're really learning how to do sales. This really is so helpful. Um, acknowledge the objection. So I understand that your budget is an important consideration for you. Um... And then it says, provide context about the value of your product. So it's designed to give significant value for our customers. And then mention specific benefits or features that directly address the prospect's pain points. Ask questions to better understand their budget and concerns, such as like, could you please share your budget range and what you were expecting to be able to purchase for that amount? Um, and then it, lastly, it says, Depending on the prospect's response, you might suggest tailoring the product to better fit their budget, explore financing options, or schedule a follow-up call to dive deeper into the value of your product um, can bring to their business. 
And then finally, it says, remember the key is to emphasize with the prospect's concern, emphasize the value your product offers and explore potential solutions together. So pretty good answer. Uh, so what I could do now is, is literally just say, you know, can you, <clears throat> excuse me, can you give me another question? Um, and also we can use this plugin right here, which is talk to chat GPT, which gives us a real feel that we're actually literally speaking to a teacher as such, albeit a little bit of a robotic one. So we'll press start right here now and, and it's ready to go. So you should be able to hear this. In fact, um, yeah, hopefully you'll be able to hear this. We'll see. It will see if it comes through on my speakers. I'll move it over a little bit. So can you give me another question? Of course. Here's another question for you. Question. A prospect you're emailing says, we're currently using a competitor's product and we're happy with it. I would find out what the competitor's product was, find all of its weaknesses and highlight them to the prospect and show them how our product could basically improve. It's so hard doing this on the spot. <laughs> Constructive feedback. It's important to recognize the prospect's satisfaction with their current solution, but directly attacking the competitor's product might come across as overly aggressive. Uh -oh. Instead, you can take a more subtle and value-oriented approach. Next time, consider using this approach. Acknowledge their satisfaction. I'm glad to hear that you're happy with your current solution. It's essential to have a product that meets your needs. Express curiosity about their experience. I'd be interested in learning more about what aspects of your current solution are working well for you. And if there are any areas where you think there's room for improvement, highlight your product's unique value proposition. While I understand you're satisfied with your current product, our solution offers several unique features and benefits that differentiate it from others in the market, such as mention specific advantages or features tailored to the prospect's needs or pain points. There we go. So it's given us a, a really, really good uh, load of feedback there that we could use to improve our um, sales ability and handling objections from people. So you can see how ChatGPT can do such a good job of teaching you and the level of detail that it can put into a course or training is phenomenal. Absolutely crazy. Now, if you like using ChatGPT and you want to learn more about prompts and uh, everything to do with ChatGPT really to help you learn more and do more in your business, then you might want to check out my free group which has now got over 4.1 thousand members. And right here, we've got sections on like general discussion, writing, coding, SEO, AI imagery like Mid Journey and, and prompts. And people are just sharing all of these cool prompts for ChatGPT that you can just jump right on in here and come and grab and copy and paste into ChatGPT as well. So a really, really useful group. It's very, very busy. We've always got people online. It's super interactive. But there's a link underneath the video um, if you want to come and join in with that. Otherwise, um, that's pretty much it for this little session we've had with ChatGPT becoming our teacher and doing a, doing a really good job of uh, giving us an interactive lesson on how to be better at handling objections uh, in sales and marketing. So really good. So thanks ever so much for watching. I really appreciate you, the viewers, and I'll see you in another video in just a second.